Hey guys, Mrs. Baker again. And Mrs. Greenberg here. And we're going to be talking about how to name and write formulas for acids. And some people think this is the most difficult one to do, so pay close attention. So you'll notice on this first one, we told you that hydrochloric acid has the formula of HCl. That AQ after it, which means aqueous, is just something we always write after an, an acid's formula. And so these are what we're going to be calling our simple acids because it's just going to start with the hydrogen and then have one element after it, none of those polyatomic ions. And the, uh, the, the pattern for writing the name is it always starts with, why isn't that working? It always starts with hydro and ends with ic acid for our for our simple formulas. And so you'll notice hydrochloric acid, the chlor comes from chlorine. And so what we did is we used the element Cl for um, the, the chlorine to go with the chloric. Perfect. Why don't you show them the next two? Yeah. So same idea here that if it's an acid, you're going to always have H first, but now it's a matter of what it's going to be bonded with. So I'm going to look at the root term, brome, and think about the element bromine. So I'm going to put Br for bromine in that it is aqueous. Now, before it's a final answer, you must check charges because hydrogen, being that oddball, is a positively charged cation bromine being a negative ion, just like ionic compounds. We may do a crisscross. We may take that mathematical approach. It looks like those ones just cancel out as is. So your final answer is HBr. Okay, but guys, don't leave your charges above your formulas. Maybe do it off to the side. Good call. Okay. Good call. So like if we were to do hydrosalinic acid, okay, I know hydrogen is a plus one. Selenic, is that mm. selenide? I think that would okay. be our best fit. And I, when I do that, when I find it over on that periodic table, I know it has a minus two charge. And so again, whether you're doing crisscross or whether you're doing the math, it means that you're actually going to need two hydrogens to go with the one selenide. So again, this two would become there. This one would become down there. Or you can just know that you need two positive ones to go with your one minus two. Cool. Oh, shoot. We got to go the other way now on this one? Ah, uh, we do. We are okay. given the name and we're given the formula. So given that formula, I see that it is pretty simple. I just have hydrogen with one other element bonded. So we're always looking for that hydro, but I'm going to leave blank right now, ic acid. I got to figure out what element's name I'm going to put into that acid's name. So what I'm going to do now is find AS on the periodic table, and that's arsenic. Now, what's kind of interesting about arsenic is that its root term is arson, but in its name, it looked like nothing really changed, but it did. We just used that root term in there, hydroarsenic acid. Great. So simple acids, meaning it's just hydrogen with one other element, no polyatomic ion. It's always a hydroic acid and we, ch we change the root. There. Right. I think that's easy. Why did I say this was so hard? Oh, look at these examples here where we do oh. have those polyatomics, which can be called complicated acids or oxy acids. I bet you I know why they're called oxy acids. Why, Mrs. Baker? Because I see an oxygen in all those formulas. Ah, and the so other ones it, did not. Yeah, so it's complicated because it's got a polyatomic ion or an oxy acid because the polyatomic ion has oxygen. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, I think all these names are wrong. I don't see hydro in front of any of them. Oh, that's actually not wrong. They do oh. not have hydro in front of them because they're complicated. I wonder if we should write that acids. down, yeah. that are complicated acids or our oxy acids do not start with hydro. Mm -hmm. Okay. No hydro. Okay, so they just jump right in with that with the right, name. Right, with that root okay. name. And then they always don't end in ick. Wait a minute. Wait. Sulfuric, sulfur us. What? What? 
So, okay, another thing is that they don't start with the hydro. Some of them end with ick and some of them end with O-U-S. So what you need to do on the back side of your periodic table is find the polyatomic ion SO4. Okay. And see that its name, SO4, is, is equal to sulfate. And then let's compare it actually to SO3. I want to see why it's ick versus an us ending. Oh, look, SO3 is sulfite. Okay, that's actually really important to recognize. Hey, you know what? Why don't you add the charges to those ions too? Oh, Just yes. because we need those. Okay, so, so if it is an eight polyatomic ion, it's going to become an ick acid. So I ate it, it's icky. Ugh. So the sulfate becomes my sulfuric acid. Whereas my ions that end in I-T-E, they're going to be O-U-S acids. Right. So if we see nitric acid, Nitric acid. Oh, I'm thinking that ick ending. I ate something icky. So we need to find the nitrate ion. Nitrate. And I'm going to write this over here. So the nitrate ion is NO3 minus one. Mm -hmm. Oh, so that means it just needs one hydrogen, right? Phew. That was okay. a quick one. All yes. right. Plus one with a minus one. Those charges will cancel. And it's HNO3. Okay. When I look over at phosphorus acid, remember the us comes from the it ion. So that is PO3, right? Right. Yeah. With yeah. a minus three charge. And if it has to go with hydrogen with a plus, how many hydrogens do we need then? We're going to need three in order to cancel oh, yeah. out. So when we cross it down. All right. Why don't you go ahead and write that formula in then? Sure. H. 3PO3. Okay. Okay. So if we now go and we look at H3PO4, that means we need to find the name of it on the periodic table. I mean, on the polyatomic ion list. PO4, let me find it. Let's see. Oh, it's a phosphate. phosphate. Oh, I ate, ate it. So it's icky. So what were we going to call that one then? We're going to call this one phosphor. Ick acid. Because it's the phosphate ion. And when I go and I look on the periodic or the common the polyatomic ion chart, I see NO2. That is the nitrite ion. So therefore, and again, we're not starting with hydro, right? No hydro. No, no. These are those complicated, those oxy okay. acids. No hydro. We're going to start with that root name of nitre, but now it's nitros. Because it's the it ion. Absolutely. So we read it. We got to really look at those polyatomic ion names really, really, you know, really, really look closely. closely. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow, these are hard. But they, they can do it, can't they? Absolutely. Practice makes better. All right. Awesome. Good job, Mrs. Greenberg. Good job, Mrs. Baker.